so in this video right here you guys I'm gonna be up there speaking with you guys about two topics okay the two topics I'm gonna be speaking on in this video right here you guys is gonna be gang stalking and the dark web the second topic is gonna be honey traps cloned honey traps synthetic robots on Facebook sent out the trap men now I'm going to address the first topic with the dark web you guys I want you guys to know a lot of our lives are being watched on the dark web by some very creepy people you know when you guys see the people coming up on you, you guys have to be walking down the street and somebody could just be standing on the corner, but as you're approaching them, they act like they're answering their phone. They're secretly recording you. Some people say that they're just taking pictures of you. These people are really recording you. You know, there's cameras inside of our houses too that record everything that we do. When we take showers, you guys, there's some creepy people out there that want to see every little part of you and everything that you do behind the scenes. So they have cameras everywhere, eyes everywhere. The all seeing eye is a camera, you know? Now, the people that operate this world, you guys, are very sexual, overly sexual. They have insatiable sexual appetites. You know, and they don't lust after regular, ordinary people in society. You know, they lust after the chosen ones, the people with that heat inside of them. You know, you guys ever, you, you know, back in the day when people used to hear about celebrities dropping, you know, secret tapes, like sexual tapes and stuff. And people would do any and everything that they could do to try to see that celebrity because there's somebody of importance, you know? That's how these creeps are to the chosen ones, you know? They're watching you somewhere and all the footage of your life is being uploaded on the dark web for creeps to, you know, play with themselves to it, you know? For people to be able to do rituals live on you 24 hours around the clock, you know? Everything is being uploaded on the deep dark web. You, you guys know how you can go on the dark web and you can purchase illegal pornography. It's the same way with the chosen ones. Everything that they're doing against you is illegal, but it's a video game to them, you know? When, them, when those gang stalkers are walking outside, you guys, it's like a game. They get a notification sent to their phone. They get a message sent to their phone whenever they're around the target. And they tell them what to do. It's like playing a game, you know? And they're watching it from far back, just examining you. You know, looking at how you respond to everything and shit. It's cool to them. Sick people. You know? But that's what they do this for. They gang stalkers to please the creeps that operate the whole world. You feel me? And they get pleased looking at you <laughs> all day long, you know? Just weirdos. But then I wanna talk about, in this video, you guys, the clones on Facebook. You guys out there have to be careful with um, who you're accepting friend requests from. You have to be careful with who you're interacting with, period, you know? This is the internet. You know what I'm saying? They have clones on Facebook, you guys. There's guys out there that are receiving messages from robots. You know what I'm saying? Artificial intelligence. And they're looking at these women. They're going, oh, she looks so sexy. I received a message from a robot, you guys. And I know it's going to sound mind-blowing to you. I'm going to try my best to try to find that message again. But you guys know how they delete messages and shit like that when they see that you're onto something. It was this this girl, you guys, they had 
jumped inside of my inbox a couple months back. You feel me? To look at her, you'd have been like, damn, like she's a solid 10. You feel me? On the surface, you would have been like, she's a solid 10. I went to this person's Facebook page, you guys. This person only had five pictures, you know? But all five pictures were taken the same exact way, same exact angle, just with different outfits. And the eyes, you guys, they look like glass. You know what I'm saying? They didn't look like regular eyes that could, like, be socked in and, and, and it, like, they can get crushed. They didn't look like regular eyes. They look like glass balls. You know what I'm saying? Just nothing was there. Like, it looked like glass. You guys ever see how it is when they put a Barbie doll's eyes in? Like, that's how it looked. You know, just fake. There's a lot of guys that's been falling for these, you know, these clones on Facebook and shit like that, you guys. And they end up getting kidnapped. You know? I'm not trying to make anybody out there look at me like, oh, like, man, this nigga going off the hinges or whatever. I'm telling you guys from my own experiences, they got robots out there, you know? These robots, you guys, and then you, matter of fact, in this video, you guys, I'm going to speak about the time that I actually met up with a robot, a clone, you know? The clone, you guys, it was this girl. A few years back, I used to be on tag writing, you know, motivational messages towards women. They sent a girl, you guys, that looked just like pretty much what I was looking for at that period of time because I was lusting at the certain kind of body type. I was lusting at the, you know, just a certain image period. You know what I'm saying? So they sent a female that looked just like how I was lusting at her. And I remember her asking me about T.I.s at that period of time. That's before I knew about... That's before I was actually able to, to put a name on what I was experiencing. She asked me if I knew about T.I.s. I said no. I said what's that? I thought she was talking about the rapper T.I. You feel me? She's like, no targeted individuals. You know? Like, no. I was very lustful at that period of time, you guys. I wasn't really trying to conversate with the person, the robot. I was just interested in trying to do things with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just trying to get my rocks off or whatever. Just trying to increase my dopamine. Just trying to get that high. So I arranged to meet up with this, this girl. You know what I'm saying? I met up with it. I put it on everything, you guys. This thing... It had glasses on. And you guys ever see how Steve Urkel's clone looked inside of the, the Steve Urkel movies? He had like a robot version of himself inside of the Steve Urkel TV show. You know? That's how her eyes looked through her glasses when I got there. You know? But I wasn't really paying it any mind. The person didn't know how to conversate, you guys. It was like 10 other people inside of the household with this person, you know? But I was so busy trying to get my rocks off, I went inside the house anyway, you know? I recognized this person had to keep running in and out of the room because the people inside of the house was keeping this thing operating. The, the people that was inside the house was keeping her functioning properly, you know? Like, just weird as hell. Like, I, I wasn't able to tie the pieces together at that period of time, you know? But I remember having very witchy vibes inside of that, that atmosphere that I was in. You know, God kept telling me to get out of there. But I was just trying to get my rocks off, you know? So this girl comes back into the room, you guys. And... You know, I somehow, some way, like, tried to do it anyway with this thing, you guys. And when I tried to do it with it, like, it just wasn't, it, it, it didn't feel like a regular human, you guys. Like, it felt like, it felt like rubber or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, dry rubber. This thing was like, like, it, it, it was weird as hell, you guys. 
And it's like, my, I didn't even have the ability to do anything completely. It's like this thing extracted my energy out of me. It proceeded to call this man. You feel me? It was trying to call this man that she called her uncle. So this big ass guy is coming. You know, I seen this big ass guy coming towards the house. You know what I'm saying? Because it was all women inside that house, like an MK Ultra facility or something like that. That's the vibes I had. They called this big ass guy that she called her uncle. You know what I'm saying? After I after I tried to do whatever with her, you feel me? And it's like, I remember that guy came in. You guys, like he's coming up. And I remember like the most high, like, like something in my gut told me to get the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? Cause this big ass dude, you guys, like he, he was dressed like a lumberjack. Like he looked like one of those niggas from Get Out or something like that. Like just weird as hell. They be putting clones on Facebook, you guys. Honey Traps on Facebook, tagged, all those websites, you know, that try to trap you. I hope I didn't go all course with this video, you guys. I'm just making this video to warn you guys about the things that you can experience with this gang stalking program, social media, all of this shit. Because it's crazy, you know. But they have clones on Facebook and your life is on the dark web, you know? You guys drop your thoughts and opinions in the comment section what you think about this video right here. This is Electrifying Vibrations. Shalom.